I clicked on the layout button. It's taking time. Meanwhile, if you have any questions, you can ask me. No, good. It has opened. So it has opened the blank editor. Since it is a sub screen, I'll just reduce the size, not compulsory. If you don't reduce, unless you will get the scroll bar. So I'm just reducing it according to my requirement. That, Okay, not compulsory to reduce. So what I have to do now, I have to place the additional fields now. Where those additional fields are available in the AMPL table now. So I'll choose the menu. Already we know how to design the dictionary fields in module pool. Externally I told, or uh, day before yesterday in the first session I told, uh, what is that? For this cross app, the prerequisite is what basic above. Okay, so I'll choose go to secondary window. Go to secondary, sorry go to secondary window what is that i have to choose dictionary slash program fields what is your table name where we added the additional fields ampl right provide the table name click on get from dictionary done good you can see here at the bottom it is showing me the additional fields now. zz computator name and zz computator address it is going to pick which which label medium label as part of data element i maintain medium only now so if you want, you can maintain all labels, short label, long label, all the things. Whichever label you want to pick, you select that particular radio button. So I'm going for medium by default. Continue. Done, 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 done. I got it. Okay, I got the labels from the data element. And what is the name of this field? See, when I double click on that, AMPL iPhone ZZ com name, table name iPhone field name, AMPL iPhone ZZ com address. Done. That's all. Save it. I'm saving it in the local object. Check for the syntax error. No errors. Let me activate this. I'm activating my maintain in uh, logon language, original language. So I'll just click on what original language doesn't matter. Done. Activated this. Go back. Activate everything. Activate this. Activate everything. Activate this. Done. So what I have done here? What I have done? I created the. Uh, Subscreen. What is the subscreen number proposed by SAP? Thousand. Okay, and on that subscreen, I have designed my additional fields. Now, what you have to do? We need to plug this announcement in your implementation. Now, how do you plug? You'll go to what? C mod. So, what are the two things I have done? I have added the fields at the table level first in the form of customer include. That I designed that subscreen in SC51 screen painter with the additional fields. Now you have to plug that announcement. We need to plug that announcement to your project. So go to what? CMOD, right? I can go for new project or I can go for yesterday's project. What is yesterday's project? ZXG01 project now. I can choose this. So before I do the changes, you need to deactivate. The yesterday we have activated that. Before doing any changes, you deactivate. Or else go for what? Creating what? New project. Okay, so I can do anything yet. Doesn't matter. I'll just deactivate the project. Activation of project has been undone. I'll open it in what chain mode. In this project, in this project, if you go to what announcement assignment, already this customer is assigned. We are not bothered about that. What is the current customer exit? AMPL triple zero one. So what I'm trying to show is this customer exit is related to which transaction code XD01. This trans this customer exit is related to which T code MP01. So a project can can be assigned with what any number of what announcement across the transaction doesn't matter so ampl triple zero and i'll press enter done it is assigned now go to components yeah we are bothered about this one you know yeah this one so i've just what I created the additional screen uh, i created the substitute with the additional fields let me just activate this 
Okay, I have not included any code here. I want to check whether that sub screen is visible to me or not. So I have activated the enhancement. Am I clear? I make sure that everything is in green color. So just click on activate. Done. Go back. Activate your project also. Okay, done. Now let me test it. Okay, let me test it. So I'll go to what MP01. What I'm trying to test? I'm trying to check whether my additional fields are visible or not. So I'll go to MP01. Done. So for practice purpose, give some material number. What is the material number ranking? J4360. I'll press enter. I'll press enter. Acha. Did you got that additional fields anywhere? No. So this is not the appropriate screen. So let me choose some entry here. I'll choose Reynolds. I'll click on what details. I'll click on details. Good. When I click on details, I got the runtime error. What is the runtime error I got? See, wrong screen type. The screen either been defined incorrectly or is being used incorrectly. What is the description they gave us here? What happened? Attribute screen type with the characteristics normal screen or subscreen determines how the screen is used. This error occurs if a normal screen is used as what? Subscreen or what? Vice versa. This error occurs if a normal screen is used as subscreen or vice versa. Screen thousand therefore has the wrong type. So wantedly at the time of creating the subscreen thousand, I get the screen type with normal screen. So if you choose the inappropriate screen type, you'll get this particular runtime error. Means what is happening here? You are trying to load. You are trying to click on the details button. At that time, it is trying to load that subscreen. It is trying to call that subscreen. But that screen was not marked as subscreen. It is marked as what? Normal screen. That's why I got the runtime and a wrong screen type. So what I have to do? Go back to that screen painter. What is that uh, subscreen program? This only now. This is a subscreen number. Open it in change mode. Original language. Go to what? Attributes tab. Choose the screen type as what? Subscreen. Choose the screen type as subscreen. Activate this once. It's activated. Come back. Activate this. Done. Active object generated. Done. Let me test it now. That is adjustment error. That's all. I'll go to what? MP01. Provide some material number. I gave it a J4360. I'll press enter. Done. I'll choose one of the entry for easy recognition. I'll go for Reynolds. I'll click on what? Details. Good. Am I clear? So I got the additional fields. So understood. I got the additional fields in this third screen. I didn't got it in what? In this screen, I didn't got it in what? The initial screen. Am I clear? So I cannot add the fields wherever I want. It will be added at the appropriate place, which is given by what? SAP. So I'm able to see the additional fields. I'm able to see the additional fields. Okay, now I'll enter some computer name here. I'll enter some computer name. I'll give something IMAX and something Hyderabad. Some data I'm giving. Okay, so what is the purpose of additional fields? Not for just placing it now, for capturing what? Additional data. So I gave some data here. I gave some data. Do I have save button here? No. Let me go back. Do I have save button here? Yes, I'll click on save. Good. What is saying here? Data is what? change so i need to go and check in my table whether the data is captured or not so i'll go to what sc11 what is the table name ampl display that i'll go to what contents records i'm checking for the records how many entries are there 24 entries only done now what i'll do here What I'll do here, I'll give the material number. Okay, I'll give the material number. Okay, what is that I gave the J4360 na? when I'm testing. So I'll give that J4360. Execute this. Ah, achha, I need to I maintain the data for which entry Reynolds. Na? So let me double click on this. Let me double click on this entry and check. Ah, what happened here? The additional fields are there, but the data is not captured. So what I'm trying to show is. What I'm trying to show is, just adding the fields is not sufficient. 
okay adding the fields is not sufficient the data also should be captured now so it is not getting captured so now further i need to write some code logic i need to write some code logic to capture the additional data we are able to see the additional fields on the screen but the data is not captured so how to capture the data again it requires some another half an hour time that i'll discuss in the next class that is on monday okay so here we are able to add the fields but i am not able to capture the data how to capture the data we'll continue this example in the next class that is on monday we'll have the next class on monday around 6:30 any questions for today please ask Uh, no questions on on this. Uh, just a, a yeah. quick question on uh, when will we get the access to SAP uh, to practice or something like that? Is that a question for you or Sridhar? <laughs> no, I am Sridhar only. I am Sridhar only. Uh, see, uh, Madan, uh, we don't provide any server access. Oh, okay. is it okay? Okay. Uh, we don't provide server access. But what we can do is, uh, if you want, I'll provide the vendor details. You can okay. directly you can directly call them or you can mail them. Okay. So they'll provide it on the rental uh, remote access. They'll charge some five hundred to six hundred per month. Per month, okay. Okay, per that's good. Okay. okay, that's not bad. You can directly contact them and you can do. It. Okay, okay. Even yeah. what are the what are the server I'm using now? It is also rental server only. Okay. It is also rental server. So will that access give us uh, ABAP? Uh, you know ABAP. Yeah, same same practice. thing. Yes, everything you can practice. Yeah, please share that information. So, so I'll buy it. yeah. Hmm. So Mahesh and Sridhar. Hey, my same same same. What? Mahesh, oh, same. Yeah, Mahesh and Sridhar. Yeah, yeah. My original name is Sridhar, but okay. uh, when I created this GoToMeeting software, I think I gave it as Mahesh. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Okay, that clears me. Thank you on that. Yeah, I'll provide that vendor details in the mail. By afternoon, I'll collect it. I'll provide. You can okay. directly what, mail them and refer my name. Say that you have been referred by either at the okay. Gemsoft. Okay. okay, so that okay. they'll respond. Okay, sure. Yeah, yes. Okay, I'll share it to everyone. So those are interested to take that. Uh, or rental server access you can contact them but please refer my name because uh, they have some issues so if you refer my name they'll respond and they'll provide you the access you can test that for one or two days if you're comfortable and if you have any issues you can reply back to them they'll rectify it after one or two days if you make the payment they'll extend it for one month they'll charge some 500 to 600 per month okay so any other questions? So next class will be on Monday. As I told you, it will be Monday to Friday. I'll try to start this class sharp by 6.30. But uh, okay, it's getting late for me. But I'll try to start by 6.30. Okay. So we'll meet again on uh, Monday. Whatever we discuss today, the notes and the recording, whatever it is, I'll try to share it by end of today. Hope everyone has received the recording and uh, material till yesterday. Right. So if you have any issues, uh, you can mail me. Right. Sure. And uh, Madan, one important thing. Uh, did you call the, that is your number, right? Uh, morning you call yeah. on WhatsApp. That's, that's my number. Yes. I have. So if you have any issues now, you can just uh, WhatsApp me or you can mail me. Okay. Okay. All right. Sure. I'll uh, we'll talk about the payments, all those things. Um, okay. Yeah, payment related. Our people will get back to you anyhow. So don't all worry right. about that aspect. Okay. Fine. Okay. Thank you. Anything with the subject part, you can contact me. Okay, Mish. Oh, okay, Shri. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. Sure. Bye. And I'm winding off, so we'll meet again on Monday. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure.